the Isle of Abandoned Carts. My local supermarket was like any other, bustling with shoppers during the day. But there was one place that no one dared to venture the abandoned aisle at the back of the store. They called it the Isle of Abandoned Carts. One night, curiosity got the better of me. I grabbed a flashlight and ventured into the darkened aisle. Rows of shopping carts filled the space, all seemingly abandoned mid-shop. The air was heavy with an oppressive stillness, and I shivered as I moved deeper into the aisle. As I examined the carts, I noticed something or each one contained items that seemed to belong to different time periods. One cart held a collection of canned goods from the 1950s, while another had fresh produce that looked like it had been picked that very day. Suddenly, the lights above flickered, casting eerie shadows that danced along the walls. I froze in terror as I heard a faint. Distant whispering, it sounded like the voices of the shoppers who had abandoned their carts. The whispers grew louder, more frantic, as if they were trapped in some kind of purgatory. I stumbled back, desperate to escape, but the aisle seemed to stretch endlessly. Its shelves filled with the ghosts of forgotten groceries. I finally made it to the entrance, and the lights returned to normal. The whispering faded away, and I fled the supermarket, vowing never to return. But the Isle of Abandoned Carts still haunts my nightmares, a place where time and reality blur, and the forgotten voices of shoppers echo in eternal torment. The Checkout Girl Late one evening, I found myself in an eerily quiet supermarket. The only other person in sight was the checkout girl, a young woman with vacant eyes and a pale complexion. She scanned my items without a word, her movements slow and mechanical. As I paid, I couldn't help but ask, is everything okay? She looked up at me, her eyes void of emotion, and whispered, they're watching. I didn't know what she meant, but Anise gnawed at me as I left the store. I couldn't shake the feeling that something was terribly wrong. The next day, I returned to the supermarket, hoping to find answers. But the store was gone, replaced by an empty lot. I asked around but no one remembered the supermarket or the checkout girl. That night, I was awakened by a soft, rhythmic tapping on my window. When I looked outside, I saw her the checkout girl, her eyes still vacant, her expression blank. She pointed at me and whispered, you shouldn't have asked. I closed the curtains, trembling with fear but the tapping continued, growing louder and more insistent. I knew I had to confront her, to find out what she meant. I opened the door and stepped outside, but she was gone. In her place stood a shopping cart, filled with groceries. As I looked closer, I realised they were the same items I had purchased the night before. The checkout girl's warning echoed in my mind as I pushed the cart, back into the empty lot. But when I turned to leave, I heard her voice, faint but unmistakable, whispering in the wind, they're watching. The Haunting Specials My local supermarket was a place of convenience until it became a nightmare. It started with the specials aisle. One evening, 
I was browsing the aisle, looking for deals, when I noticed a strange can of soup. It had an old-fashioned label and a dusty appearance, like something from a bygone era. Curiosity got the better of me, and I added it to my cart. That night, I cooked the soup for dinner. It tasted strange, like something I couldn't quite place. As I ate, I felt a chill creeping over me, and the room seemed to darken. I looked at the label again and gasped it was a can of soup that had been discontinued decades ago. The lights flickered, and a ghostly figure appeared before me a woman in old-fashioned clothing. Her eyes hollow and filled with despair, she whispered, You shouldn't have eaten that. I fled the house, leaving the haunted soup behind. But the supermarket had more horrors in store for me. The next day, I returned to find the entire store frozen in time. Shoppers stood motionless in the aisles, their faces frozen in expressions of terror. I realised I was trapped in a nightmare, a supermarket where time stood still. The ghostly figures of shoppers reached out to me, their voices a cacophony of despair. They whispered tales of how they had become trapped in this eerie place, lured by the promise of specials. I tried to escape, but the doors were locked, and the aisles seemed to stretch on forever. The ghostly shoppers closed in around me, their voices growing louder and more frantic. They warned me of the horrors that awaited those who dared to enter the special's aisle. I finally woke up, drenched in sweat, realising it had all been a nightmare. But the memory of the haunted supermarket still haunts me. A place where the specials all holds dark secrets and the ghosts of shoppers are trapped for eternity.